I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio station KE0OG, and we're answering comments on the videos through these shorts. This comment comes from Kevlar232 on sourcing out grounding, video number 1241. How critical is it to bond your station ground to your home electrical panel ground rod? The answer is yes, you should do it, okay? Number six wire or bigger, and use compression connectors both at your station ground rod and the utility ground rod. Bury the wire, make it non-insulated wire. That kind of helps with the grounding as it goes around. Now, I've been working with an expert on grounding, and he is telling me that we need to ground the green wire ground in the station to our station ground because otherwise if you have a lightning strike you've got your green wire ground system for the utility could be at a very different voltage than what is at your amateur radio station. I'm still working out my understanding on that but as soon as I learn more about it we'll do that. Now this book on grounding and bonding actually does show AC ground should be connected to the single point ground panel. I think the answer to that is going to be yes. I haven't figured out the details. The guy I'm talking to about grounding is, is really, really good on the theory behind it, but I'm kind of a cookbook kind of guy. He says, unfortunately, my station is on one side of the house and the main panel ground rod is completely the other side of the property. It would not be an easy run to make through the concrete and other obstacles. Are there other options that would be good in this situation? Well, as I mentioned, we talked about grounding uh, the green wire ground. However, in a shop building, that's an auxiliary building, so there is no connection there between the green wire ground and real ground because that connection is only at the utility entrance, which would be, I think, probably on the side of your house. Now, he mentions it would not be an easy run to make through concrete and other obstacles, other options that would be good in this situation. Landscapers who install sprinklers are very good at running plastic pipe under your driveway. They dig down on the side, dig out a little bit, run a pilot through, and it'll go just under the concrete and then pull up a pipe into place and you can run the ground uh, through that. Again, number six or thicker and not insulated, just bare wire because as it touches the ground, it helps a little bit with the grounding. So do at least that and we'll try and find out a little bit more on ham radio stations and outbuildings. Now, the problem is if lightning strikes near the house, the voltage on the house wire could be far higher than the voltage that you have on your equipment grounds out there and could cause some real problems. So we're trying to equalize that. So there you have it. Until next time, 73.